Hello everyone and welcome back to Portmore. Just about to get onto the 10th tee. We're now back up on top of the hill by the clubhouse and it is windy, hence we're around the side of the starter set out the wind. Um, and the back nine is all on top. As you saw, the front nine kind of like went down into the bottom, down by the main road and then came back up again. Out here, I don't think there's going to be much chance for talking to you lot. So it might be a, um, a voiceover, which I don't particularly like doing. I much prefer saying some off the cuff after I've hit a shot or before I hit a shot, but it is what it is. I'm going to have to get out the elephant's testicles to hold this thing down. I'm going to need that all day tomorrow at Ilfacombe because it will be windy up on the top of that hill. However, the views are worth it. Two ball just started from the temp, so we'll have a five minute break and then we'll get going again. Well, that was a pretty dumb tee shot on the 10th, wasn't it really? I was out of position, should have hit hybrid. Such is life, live and learn. Now this tee shot is interesting, because I've got a mound on the left and there's a mound on the right and I can see two bunkers and I can't see any fairway. And it's 426, so it's got to be the driver. I've hit a pigging golf shot. time I hold summer. Greens are a tad slower than Lilybrook so as you've seen I'm struggling to get to the hole but uh, dying gasp that one fell in. Right let me jump in here that was to all intents and purposes a birdie three. However when I got to the next tee and filled in the card it showed it as being a 426 yard par five, which is rather quite short, I think you would agree. So on paper, it was an eagle, but I wouldn't give any of you an argument if you said, nah, Simon, that was a par four, and that was a birdie three, because it was too short. Anyway, back to the video.
Right. Um, you'll never sell ice cream going at that speed, will he? Right, this is an incredibly interesting golf course. That last little par three there was uh, 134 from the whites, and I hit a six iron with that wind, and then slipped off the side of the green down a slope I didn't even know was there. Let's get the crudities out of the way, shall we? It cost me £25 today, which means that this golf course is punching way above its weight. This is so much better than you'd expect for £25. And this next hole is, um, yeah, it's a hole and a half. It's 446, it's uphill. Um, I do get a stroke on it, so. I don't know how to describe it. There's five bunkers down the left. There's a high bank down the right. Uh, this is asking some serious questions. So we've enjoyed the shorter holes, you know, the 320 yarders. Now we've got to bite um, our end of the turd and try and play this one. Another bloody good drive, so turning a little bit better obviously how's the ball testing going remember I'm alternating between the 2019 Pro V1 and the 2020 Mizuno Tour RB what's the difference about that much nothing really And just in case you're wondering, I was in that bunker, but all the bunkers are GUR because they're not maintaining them during this um, can't handle the uh, the rates sort of thing. So they're uh, they're all GUR. Hey, that's a bloody good four. Not bad for an old man.
Well, we're actually out of the wind here on this green, so let's make this the last chat. £25, this golf course is punching way above its weight. What I used to see from the road is these hilly holes of this back nine, and that is what intrigued me about this golf course, and it hasn't let me down. This is absolutely superb. Now they've obviously bulldozed a lot of soil to create this golf course, but it's worked. The design has worked. I think it's great. This would be a brilliant first leg of a lad's weekend away to the West Country. Nice finish, wouldn't it? I was just thinking, ball test. So which ball am I going to choose out of the 2019 new Pro V1 and the 2020 Mizuno RB Tour? Well, I've played a couple of holes with my old 2018 Pro V1s, the ones in the gold box, and they were the best. So let's hope I can keep finding them. After that, it's got to come down to money, hasn't it? So it's got to be the Mizuno. I think it's a fraction better than the Pro V1 2019. I don't know what they've done with that. It just feels a bit harsh to me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Off to Ilfracombe now. Overnight stop, get something to eat because I'm starving. I tell you what, this wind is not going to go away tomorrow. So tomorrow, as the, golf, the entire golf course is exposed to the wind, it's going to be a voiceover, I'm afraid. However, there's well, one or two interesting holes there, so uh, stay tuned. Cheerio.